It's long overdue, but the U.S. House and the U.S. Senate finally sat down Wednesday to work out their differences over the new farm bill. Layton, it's not exciting, but it's the way that we make laws in the United States. The U.S. House passes a bill, the U.S. Senate passes its version of the same legislation. The two then send some representatives to meet and write a compromise bill in what's called a conference committee. That's where we are now on the farm bill, finally. Opening statements were made Wednesday. House Ag Committee Chairman Frank Lucas of Oklahoma said the committee will be working in a complicated environment to craft a very technical, technical bill. Senate Ag Committee Chairwoman Debbie Stabenow says that the Senate's bill represents the biggest reform to ag policy in decades. Stabenow says that helping farmers manage risks through crop insurance is needed. She agrees with the House that an effective livestock disaster assistance program is also needed. How much to cut from the SNAP program, also known as food stamps, is the biggest difference between the two. The Senate would cut $4.5 billion during the next 10 years, the House 39. Colin Peterson, a ranking Democrat on the House Agriculture Committee, he says that if the committee is left alone and allowed to do its work, we might find some middle ground and finish the farm bill.